One of the new features in RockSim 9 is the ability to add pods. A pod is a part or group of parts that is attached to the outside of the rocket. A pod is a placeholder similar to the subassembly. When we create a subassembly, we create a placeholder and we add parts to that. We're going to do the same thing with a pod. Right now, I'm looking at a simple two fin design of a rocket and I want to add another body tube to the outside of this rocket. So the first thing I'm going to do, other than changing it back to a 2D, is I'm going to select the part where I'm going to add the pod. And pods can be attached to almost any of the external parts such as nose cone and body tube and fins. This, In this particular design I'll attach it to the body tube. So I'm going to find the pod and click on that. And it's going to create the placeholder and you'll notice that pods can be ejected during simulations like a strap-on booster that falls off during flight and I'm going to leave that checked for now and we'll click Save Changes and now we see the pod has been added to the rocket and now it's just a matter of adding parts to that pod so I'm going to add a nose cone added a nose cone right there I'm going to add, OK, and click OK. Now I'm going to add a body tube to that nose cone under the pod. There's the body tube, and I'll just change the length. And click OK. And I'll, I'll mark this as an engine mount so that it can fall off during flight. And now you can see our pod is up here at the, the front of the rocket and let's move it back. And so to do that we need to select the pod and go edit and now we're going to move the location. And we'll click OK. And now to this pod I got an extra pod here. Let me delete that. Okay, to the body tube, I'm going to attach some fins. You can see that here's our rocket, and it's got um, three fins attached to it. Let's look at it in the base view. So the main rocket, and here's the pod. I only need one fin, so I'll make that a one fin go back to the side view and if I like the way it looks I can leave it and for uh, for just this design I'll just go ahead and leave that as the way it is and so here's our simple pod and we can attach um, also other things into it such as a streamer I'll just select one from the database And right now the streamer is right here, and I need to move that streamer back towards the middle of the tube. And, and this streamer is actually inside this pod. And you can see it's in the pod. At this point, um, if I want to put another pod on the other side, I can actually copy this pod. Go up to the edit and copy and then I'm going to paste it onto the tube paste okay now it's duplicated itself and we should see two pods I'm going to go to this this pod here the second pod and you'll notice I got a radial position let me look at the base view I'm not getting the base view but uh, I'll show you that we'll go radial angle 180 degrees and I can actually type in the number hit tab so now we're at 180 degrees and now we'll see that in the base view now the only thing that I need to change is this fin so I'll go to the second pod edit the fin and we'll go to the radial position and we'll just change that to 180 degrees and again I'm going to have to type it in if I want to be exact click OK and now we can look at the rocket in 3D and zoom in 
So we now have two pods and also two fins. Let me recenter that. And now we can go and launch this rocket. And so I'm going to go prepare for launch. And you'll notice that I have the center inner engine mount tube and then the two body tube pods. And uh, for the center, I'm going to load a C65. And then for the pods, we'll go with an A10-3. And click load all and it loads that extra engine in that side. Under flight events, we're going to deploy each of these at maximum engine ejection. Uh, the pods will fall off at maximum engine ejection. Right now, we cannot control that other than with the engine ejection delay. Uh, simulation state. Um, just checking things here. OK, we've got a slightly breezy wind, and we'll go ahead and launch. Okay, and then on our summary screen, you see our three engines here. Um, altitude at deployment is 1,542 feet. And let's go to the plot graphs and let's look at the mass because that's going to tell us if everything worked. Um, here's the mass. Um, I'm going to leave that alone and plot, plot graph. Okay, and now we need to zoom in on this part of the graph because that's the important part. And we can see our mass graph. At this point, the pods fall off. You can see there's a big drop in mass indicating that our pods did fall off. And there you have it. That's a simple pot.